And so let's look this thing called death. Not the probability, not the possibility, but the absolute certain certainty of death. Let's look it straight in the eye. Because if there's one thing I can tell you, after 20 years of police experience on the streets, badge, gun, boots, patrol car, the whole thing, is you got to look what's coming at you straight in the eye. Spiritual legacy is the gift of wisdom from one life to another. Each one of us as individuals has a unique complex of beliefs, values, actions, reactions, insights embedded within our life experience that can be conveyed to another. And of course, because I'm a writer, I suggest conveying them in a written form. Every time I sit down to write, it, it, poetry came out, not prose. And I have no idea why. To me, the conciseness, I mean, you don't get on the police radio and say, well, gee, I don't know if I feel like going to that call for service or not. You know, I sort of, my foot's itching. The dispatcher gets on there and says, burglary in progress, woman on the phone screaming. You say, clear. You get there, you say, Frank 42 arrived. Somebody's trying to kill you, you get on there and say, Frank 42 need backup. <laughs> right along. Another cop tells me about the female doing the ride-along when Sobo got killed. Him lying there bleeding bad. Her not knowing to push your radio button down when you talk. That kid didn't shoot her even though he knew she saw the whole thing. But he stared at her hard through the windshield, holding his gun, deciding. She didn't even know the name of the street or the hundred block to tell, the dis to tell dispatch. So once the kid ran, she crawled out the shop to Sobo, turned him over, held his hand, recited the Our Father with him while he died. This other cop says he heard she moved out of Houston, went up east, came back to testify against the kid had a nervous breakdown. My ride-alongs, I show them the radio button. Me, I want an ambulance. I was taught if you work hard enough, you can learn to do anything. And so as a teacher, without really any conscious reflection, I knew that not only can I learn to do anything, that all my students can learn to do anything. I have this, this, this group of students. They're scared to death to write. I know they can. They soon start writing. This book, to the best of my knowledge, is the only book that's been published out there in America with young Latinos talking about being young. <laughs>